Before the video starts, I'd just like to say thank you for 1000 subs. I hope you all stick with the channel as it continues to grow. That's all from me for now, back to the video. Minecraft is a game that I have been playing or revisiting from time to time for over a decade now and has been a significant part of my childhood. I enjoyed playing it a lot in the first few years, but now it almost feels like it doesn't live up to the expectation. I used to play it day in and day out, and now I only have a short phase every few months where I play for a few weeks. In this phase of playing the game, it feels incredibly engaging and exciting. It reminds me of why I love this game so much. The combination of music, the world, the mobs, and the early game progression all come together seamlessly. This is the moment where I truly feel inspired and full of ideas, and it seems like the possibilities are endless. I could easily spend hours playing without getting bored, however this feeling of excitement and enthusiasm fades away very quickly. When I first started playing Minecraft, I had an old laptop. I would play in a flat desert world with creative mode turned on and I would spend hours in it. I would create a new world and just fool around, placing blocks until something started to make sense. I would build bases and add mobs to fortresses to try to clear them. There was also a lot of stuff I would just blow up. The point here is that I had a lot of fun with the tools the game has given me because I had a passion for the game and the time to play it. Putting aside my personal feelings, whenever I return to play the game I also find myself re-entering the entire community that surrounds it. I browse through Reddit and other forums to see what building ideas people have come up with and discover many new and old YouTube content creators while keeping up with current updates. However, controversies arose concerning the quality of these recent updates and watching all of that wears me down. I started at version 1.4. The update introduced us to wither skeletons, beacons, anvils, new crops and even the possibility of riding a pig. LeBron James. Scream if you love Minecraft. <laughs> This type of content actively expanded the gameplay possibilities. In Minecraft, everything you do is deliberate, and it's up to you to choose to fight the Wither boss, seek new crops, or craft new items. Therefore, these features should be rewarding to the player. In the recent years, these updates have divided the community. But why? One of the main criticisms of these updates is that they either lack content or the added features are underwhelming. For instance, the redstone update is an excellent example of a feature that has greatly expanded the game, however its impact on your gameplay will depend on whether you decide to use it or not. If you are not interested in redstone it will not affect your gameplay, but if you do decide to use it, it adds a lot of possibilities and allows you to get more creative with the game. The much needed change was the aquatic update in version 1.13, which brings life to the previously barren notions. It introduces physical fish, kelp, coral, seagrass, underwater zombies, buildings and other ocean themed items, as well as additional features. This update changes the core of the game and is not a feature that you have to seek out, but rather something that surrounds you, altering the way you traverse the ocean. It is not something hidden behind a long grind of the game. Its features are unavoidable and a great improvement to the world. Players who have been playing the game for a long time appreciate updates that bring significant changes to the game. The Nether and Cliff update are examples of such a change. The reason why they stand out is not just because of the amount of content they added, but because they have transformed areas of the game that players encounter regularly. In recent updates, it seems like the developers are either becoming lazy 
running out of ideas or playing it safe with some unimportant features and uninspiring new blocks and items. The Trails and Tails update is a prime example of something that we really did not need. While the cherry tree is interesting, it felt unnecessary to me. I would have preferred the ability to color wooden blocks over a completely new tree. However, I suppose I would not mind it as much if the rest of the content was any better. Speaking of that update, archaeology simply doesn't add much to the game and it feels like something you would find as a part of some mod pack. Its biggest use is to obtain the sniffer egg and hatch the sniffer, who in return is pretty useless. There has been a lot of controversy in the Minecraft community regarding the mob votes. Some players are dissatisfied because the mob they voted for didn't win, while others are unhappy because potentially good mobs that didn't make it won't ever be added to the game. The addition of a single mob feels like the game is just offering us a small amount of content, which wouldn't be a big issue if the mob had a greater impact on gameplay and was more useful and rewarding to the player. Unfortunately, this hasn't been the case with the last few mobs that have been added. I think that game developers focus on non-game defining features because they are not sure which direction to take the game in. The recent updates have introduced new features that players need to actively search for and I don't believe we will ever see something as game changing as redstone. Only now in future updates is copper getting some extended usefulness whereas previously it was only used for decoration except for one item. The recent lack of significant changes in the game can have both positive and negative effects. While some players appreciate the game's relative consistency, others get frustrated with the minor and meaningless features added in updates and want to see more substantial changes. If that content is well executed, it could reignite the community's passion and draw many players back to the game. In 2019, we witnessed a significant resurgence in Minecraft's popularity. This resurgence was attributed to many factors aligning together, such as the rise of many new grinding MC YouTubers and the return of some big old ones. As the game started gaining more attention, many retired Minecraft content creators also made a return. When the wave of popularity ended, it left us with many new players and content creators who continued to create Minecraft content. It's unnecessary to go into details about the exact updates that ruined the game and those that made it better. The game's recent decline isn't solely due to this, it is a variety of factors. Specific game mechanics that turn players off, a lack of new ideas and opportunities an update can bring, or even your favorite YouTuber slash streamer moving on. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether or not you're still interested in the game. That phase, which lasted a few weeks during which I played the game constantly, is nothing but nostalgia. When we face difficulties and challenges in real life and get overwhelmed, we often retreat to a comforting place. The games that made our childhood, but when the feeling of nostalgia fades away, we are left with the realization that we must move on. Before I could spend hours playing with a few block types in an empty world, and now I need mods and updates to give me a reason to grind and play. That creativity and passion are gone, and no lack of exciting, game-defying new content can bring that back for me. Under all these new fancy blocks and item is the same game I have fallen in love with. And when I need to cool off again, I know the game will always be there for me. Even if for a little while. For me, it may be my lack of creativity and passion nowadays that deterred me from playing. With time, it's common that our excitement for the game fades away. Nevertheless, Minecraft is a game that we all eventually come back to. What are some of the reasons that have gotten you away or back to the game? Comment below, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Hey, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. You may be wondering why I've been away for so long and, well, my graphics card died. To be more precise, Zeus himself sniped my RTX 3050 and my power supply, so I had no access to my PC for a month. I am editing this video with my old RX 560 and it is as bad as it sounds. Well, anyways, I've managed to finish the video at least. See you in the next one.